Hey CFS Warriors, it's Victoria coming to you to talk about the fourth layer in my onion of recovery. If you've seen the other videos, you know that I started with the first layer was dealing with the underlying physical issues of chronic fatigue syndrome. And after I was working on that first layer, I discovered there was another layer behind it, and then another and another. So we're on that fourth layer now, and it has to do with neuroplasticity, brain retraining. And so, you know, before I was ever sick with CFS, I was a follower of Tony Robbins, and I really enjoyed his work, and he's the first one who introduced me to the concept of NLP, which is Neuro Linguistic Programming. And it's amazing how much of an impact our language can have on our bodies. And I learned at that time how it could affect state and state changes. And I just want to read to you the definition of neurolinguistics. It's the branch of linguistics that studies the relation between language and the structure and function of the nervous system. Now remember, chronic fatigue syndrome is classified by the World Health Org as a neurological illness. So I think this is why programs that deal with neuroplasticity are very effective with CFS because you're, you're actually retraining your nervous system. And so just to give you a little background, um, I was four years into the illness, pretty much bedbound, housebound for sure, when I came across the Gupta program, and that was the first program that brought in NLP to work with retraining uh, the nervous system for me. And so unfortunately at that time I was so debilitated that when I tried to do the Gupta technique, it actually crashed me worse. So it was very hard because I was already debilitated. I didn't have any of the other skills that we've talked about in that first layer of working with baseline, you know, I wish just basically my body was kaput, I was in bed. And so, but I absolutely loved and adored the rest of his program. He gives a lot of excellent information and he has a really good layout of what he sees as the root cause of chronic fatigue syndrome, which is a very common explanation among many of these programs, talking about how our bodies are caught in the fight or flight, and Gupta relates it to our amygdala being overworked, and uh, Mikkel attributes it to the hypothalamus, and LP talks about the, uh, you know, being in that fight or flight, personal emergency response state, that's actually creating physiological changes in our body, which is causing, you know, a, like total haywire, complete chaos with hormones and, and all systems, digestions cut off and all kinds of stuff. So it really did make sense to me when I heard Gupta's explanation of it. And that was the first time I'd been introduced to that concept, but it made sense. So even though I couldn't do his process, you know, I would try to walk it out in my mind because in his program, you're supposed to step it out. Um, but anyway, I would use it from time to time, you know, and I did, I did enjoy it. I did think this was a good thing. I just knew at that point I was just too debilitated to do it. So um, a little bit farther down the road, when I was doing better, I became more acquainted with Dr. Caroline Lee's work, who is a neuroscientist. And she has a very inexpensive 30-day program online. And she has a book called Switch on Your Brain. I've actually got it right here. I'll show it to you. And, you know, you're going to be reading all about neuroplasticity, neuropeptides, and all the things and how our thoughts take up real estate in our brain. They're not, they're, they're signals. And they're actually, you know, creating proteins in the brain. So um, she has a fascinating work on that. But it was really about supplanting, getting rid of toxic thoughts and replacing them with, with, life building thoughts and those are actually going to make a change in your brain which will then affect your physiology. So again this is brain retraining is not anything about it being in your mind or anything like that. It is uh, understood that this is these are physiological reactions that are happening in the body and so by you know, approaching it in this way, like dealing with this area in my recovery, it really helped me. It really helped calm down that fight or flight response that my body was locked in. It helped me get into more of a healing state. 
So, you know, I used Dr. Caroline Lee's program. As I mentioned, all these other layers, you know, I was working on them at different times. It wasn't like I was only doing them one at a time. They were kind of coming more into forefront at different times in my recovery. And so along the way, I was introduced to the lightning process. I never knew what that was. And then um, I had a friend who did it who absolutely loved it. And he's done really well with it. He's gone on to train and become a lightning process practitioner. And I love this quote by him is, you're using your neurology to create positive changes in your physiology. And that's Jason McTiernan, and he is a now an LP practitioner. But that really encapsulates what is happening when you're using a brain retraining program. Is you're using, you know, those synapses and the thoughts and the patterns in your brain to transform what's going on physically for you in your body. So it is a lot of work. And uh, so when I was introduced to the lightning process, um, I began to practice it, and the one thing I had determined before in advance is that I would not use it to push myself, because unfortunately, I have heard a lot of people crashing using programs like this because they use it to push themselves. Maybe they do the process to get more energy, you know, and so they're pushing just so that they can keep running these patterns like the Achiever patterns or things like that, so they can keep doing, doing, doing and ignoring their body signals. And so I made a very big commitment that I would not do that, even if it took me a lot longer to recover. You know, I would just stay slow and steady with it. So how did I use these brain retraining programs? Well, one of the main ways I used them, especially LP, was creating a deep calm and rest so that I could have restorative rest that would get my body into a healing state. A second thing that I used it for was replenishment of energy. And at the end of this video, I'd like to do a visualization with you, which is one of my absolute favorites. And it's about replenishing energy. Um, another way that I used it was taking new ground. For example, when we were when I was in Europe with my family, I had uh, previously done LP. And so there were a lot of things that I was doing there that were not normally within my baseline, although I had been working up and, you know, gradually increasing in all areas of my life. So let's say, though, that I was like at the train station and I had to go up like two huge flight of stairs and then I had to go get in a taxi and then, you know, it's like there was a lot of stuff like that going on. So what happens is after the fact you know, already, okay, maybe I'm tired, but what happens is all the fearful thoughts start. Oh my God, what if I've ever done it? What if I won't be able to get up and be with my family the rest of the trip? You know, why is this taking me so long? All these thoughts that would come and I would do the process on that using NLP techniques, being aware of them, stopping those thoughts. The next thing that I used them for was as a setup for my day. I actually wasn't so good about doing it in the moment. Uh, but more so, I'd like to do it at specific times of the day to go, okay, what kind of states do I want to be in? And then I would use the process to create those states. So what you're doing is you're creating that pattern in your brain, and it's much easier for your brain to follow that pattern. If you're using, you know, that pathway in your brain neurologically a lot, then your brain's going to go that way rather than the old path that you don't want to be on. The other thing I used it for was background anxiety and stress patterns, as I mentioned, things like, you know, how long, why am I taking so long to recover? Why can't I get better? Uh, what are my kids doing? You know, all that kind of stuff, okay? So that's pretty much my fourth layer in recovery on brain retraining. I hope the information was useful for you. If it was, please give me a like and be sure to subscribe to the channel channel. Also hit that little bell so I can ring your bell the next time I put out a video. If you are looking for some fellowship with other people on the journey, be sure to check me out on Facebook with CFS Warriors Forum and also CFS Warriors page. So anyway, we'll hope to see you on the other side. And I'm going to do a video in conjunction with this for visualization for those who would like to go and check that out on replenishing your energy. So take care, warriors, and remember, life's not over, it's starting again.